What's cracking everyone? Football Manager Tony here with a transfer special. As you can tell by the name of the episode, this video is all about transfers. The first thing I will do is to show you part two of the Montillo fairy tale. Did he join Arsenal or didn't he join Arsenal? After that I will show you the player who will leave and the players I want to leave. And after that I will show you the players I will bring in, the contract offers are accepted and you know agreed and they will join sooner or later. And in the end of the episode I'm going to show you a few players that I want to bring in. But now let's go straight to the resolution of the Montiel fairy tale. Chapter 1. Now but as you probably know Arsenal made a bid for Walter Montiel. The bid included 30 million pounds and none of them were spread over 48 months or anything. Some people wanted me to sell him, you know, take it. And some people said, no, I'll keep him, he's your best player, and you know, he is. But um, at the same time, 30 million quid is an awful lot of money. And how on earth am I supposed to reject that? I've never ever been offered that much money on a uh, football manager. Not in real life either, of course. But um, <laughs> you, you know what I mean. So, I accepted it. I couldn't do much else, to be quite honest. But then, a few days later, I saw this in my mailbox. Montillo rejects Arsenal. Walter Montillo's agent has announced that his client has dismissed Arsenal's contract offer as unacceptable and insulting. And I'm not gonna lie, I actually thought that was brilliant news. You know, after all, he is my playmaker. He is our best player and normally Queen's Park Rangers wouldn't have the reputation to get a player like Walter Montillo. But if I get a offer for him now in January of course or in the summer including about 25 million quid or even more I will probably accept it again. But um, as for now he is staying and um, I'm not gonna lie I'm really happy about that. But now let's have a look at the player that actually will leave. Gibral Cisse has agreed a deal with Napoli. The Italian club offered 4.6 million for the player who is valued at 2.8 million. Cisse, who has performed quite well, if you have a look at his pre-season average rating, 8.23. If you have a quick look how he's done in the league, two goals in three appearances and an average rating of about 7.0. You know, that is some good stuff, I c I'm, I'm not going to lie. But if we have a look at his stats for a second. He does actually lack some skill, especially the skill you need to be a great striker. If you have a look here, dribbling 9, finishing 14, first touch 11, then we've got heading 12, passing 11, and technique 10. You know, that isn't too impressive. And then we've got work rate 9, teamwork 7, composure 10. You know, in all honesty, he does lack some stats, and some important stats as well. But, um, you know, he's 30 years old now. He won't get any better. Well, the main reason why I sold him is this. Fuck! How on earth? 75k a week. 75,000 quid a week. For this player, never, ever, never happening. Get rid of as quick as possible. So that is the main reason why I sold him. Like I said, he's 30 years old. 4.6 million right right in my pocket is taken and like I said of course 65k a week I can't afford it so he's leaving tomorrow when I am playing Wolverhampton Wanderers but now let's have a look at some more players that I want to get rid of so I want to get rid of all these players the players who are highlighted in blue I consider being dead wood so there's no need to look at them in detail we've got Samadhi Akete a great player to be honest, he can play in, he's quite flexible well to him not good enough if we want to take this step to the next level then we've got Jamie Mackey, a great player Bolton offered 3 million spread over 48 months quite a good offer I have to admit but I want the money in the bank not spread over 48 months so I told him to make a better offer and we've got Al Tarab, of course a good player but he wants more playing time and I can't offer him that at the moment I've set the asking price at £12 million. Alcana Fallin, a great player, I hope I can keep him, but Betis and Quetaf want him. I've set the asking price at £8 million, hopefully someone will offer it. 
Then we've got the money grabbing wankers. Pardon my language, but j just look at this ad. Lee Cook. He is the meaning of their word. And look, 25k a week. Just have a look at him. No, don't, by the way. Don't have a look at him. DJ Campbell, J. Bo Freud. Hopefully I can sell him. Luke Young, a good player actually, but 32 years old. And look at his wage, 32,000. Anton Ferdinand, 40,000 a week. And he never played. So I have to get rid of him as quick as possible. But no one wants him as he has this much wage. Nidamunu, a great player, absolutely brilliant player, but too much weight, I can't afford him. Then we've got Taya Taivo, also a great player, but just look at his wage. Um, I'm not going to extend the loan, that's for sure. Then we got the three Musketeers, Joey Barton, Sean Wright Phillips and Bob Zamora. 65k a week. The thing is, I can't sell him, I can't get rid of him as no club wants to pay that much wage, so I have absolutely no idea what to do. It, it expires in 2014 though, 2015. Fuck. You know, I am in deep shit, to be quite honest, because some of these players' wages are just absolutely ridiculous. But now let's have a look at some more enjoyable things, the players that will join. I'm going to go through this players pretty quick, but not that quick. I'll, I'll show the you know the stats and all that. But um, I don't want the episodes to be too long because it's a pain in the ass watching episodes that are like 20 minutes, 15 minutes long. So I'll just run through them as quick as I can. The first player I bought was Bruma, and I bought him from Sporting Lisbon's under 19s. I, I bought him for 800k, which is a bloody bargain. His stats aren't too good now, but um, he has the potential to be a great player. And my best scout, Sheerlin, says he will become a four-star player. To be honest, I bought him mainly because, you know, 800k, that's nothing. In a few years, I'll sell him for a couple of millions, maybe 9 million, 10 million. So it's, it's all about the profit, to be honest. We then signed our second Italian centre-half, Michel Camporese, a 19-year-old from Fiorentina, currently on loan to Pescara's reserves. There's something with Italian centre-halves that I really like, and you know, for 1.4 million, look at his potential. Look at his heading stats, marking, tackling. I think he can make a great couple with Giuseppe Prestia. In a few years, I'm like one of the greatest defensive lines in the world. As you probably know, we are in great need of a goalkeeper. I actually bought Lucas Fabianski from Arsenal. Gina Scout told me that I could buy him for £11 million, and I thought, nah, that's way too much. Then Arsenal offered me him for three million pounds, and you know that is a great prize. If you are offered a goalkeeper who has been playing for a big club for a couple of years now, he is in his mid twenties and he's got some good stats, not too much wage, and you know three million pounds—that's nothing. So it was an easy decision to make. So I'm very happy with this signing. We then signed the monster Carlos Fierro. £7 million is an awful lot of money, but I am sure that everyone knows how good this lad can get. I wanted to sign him in the summer, but I didn't have enough cash, so that's why I signed him now. He's not joining in January though, which is a shame, he's joining in July. But as you can see, he has the potential to be as good as Fernando Torres and that says it all, doesn't it? £7 million, I can sell him for £40 or £50 million when he's at his top of his peak. We then signed Tobias Figueiredo. I've never actually signed this lad before, but um, I searched for players in Genie Scout and this lad pops up. I could buy him for 500k and you know, then of course I buy him. He's got a three and a half star potential. He's got a great first touch, or at least he has the potential to get a great first touch. But the thing is, he this lad doesn't have a future in the club, to be quite honest. I will sell him in a few years, you know, buy him for 500k and sell him for fa 5 million. So it's all about earning money with this transfer, to be honest. And the last player I signed was Hudivan from Cruzeiro's and the 20s. I bought him for 85k and, you know, this is all about the profit as well. Buy him for 85k and then sell him for a couple of millions in a few years. It's a shame that I have to wait till 2013 though, as he is only 16 years old. But well, he's got his work permit, and as I said, 85k is a bloody bargain. So um, I, I have to say I am happy with this signing as well. I am happy with all the signings I've made this far, and hopefully I can make a few more signings in this transfer window. 
Well, that was it for this episode, everyone. I know I told you that I was going to show you a few transfers that I want to make. I think the episode will just get too long and it just get boring. So I think I'll do a video with all the Wonder Kids and all that instead because the players I want to buy are all Wonder Kids anyway. So I think I'll do that instead. That was it. The transfer special has now come to an end. Please leave a like because I'd love to get this video noticed. That would help, that would really help me out a lot, and I would appreciate it so much. It, I really would. Comment if you have any thoughts about the players or anything. If, if you liked the episode or you know, I I love to interact with you lot. So please do that if you want to, and I will see you in the live conversation with Wolverhampton. Take care, everyone. I really mean that, and I will see you soon. Ta-da! So